something People say you'll never be nothing You'll never be something Well, you know what I think I think it's crazy for you to believe um, My beauty journey, I think, starts from when I was about 10 years old, really um, Before that age, you know, I didn't really think about Are you beautiful? Are you ugly? That type of thing, I just lived as a child But then when boys in my area basically get involved and they start noticing you or they start commenting on you know you and your friends and things like that you're like oh okay I look a certain way I appeal to people um I guess one of my largest insecurities from when I was younger has been having eczema um I had it all over my legs and my hands and it just when it came to going swimming or anything like that, it really made me feel insecure. Changing in the changing rooms made me feel horrible because there was all down my legs. Even wearing tights to school and we had to wear um, skirts for summer, it was just a wrap. Like my mum would always tell me, you need to put your legs in the sun for it to kill. Um, but I would never show my legs anywhere. Um, and of course, like, Boys don't make life easier when it comes to insecurities. Like if they see anything that they don't think is right, especially at a young age, they will comment on it and it just made me feel horrible. I remember when I was younger um, in secondary school, um, a boy basically telling me that I'm fat. Like I was slimmer than I am now, um, but my shape is kind of like slim at the top and like larger at the bottom and he was just like oh, your legs like they're fat and I was like that's when I first like noticed it you don't really notice problems or insecurities you just think you are who you are um, until someone points it out um, and that kept on playing on my mind for ages um, I remember becoming a vegetarian because I wanted to lose weight um, just not eating in the evenings because I wanted to lose weight but it's like your natural body shape so it just doesn't go in certain areas another major journey that I've, I've gone on and that I'm still going on is seeking validation from relationships um, so I would always feel confident in the fact that I had someone um, who I was theirs or you know who I was in a relationship with walking down the street or something if someone doesn't give me attention you're like oh well I'm fine I've got my person you know that type of thing like oh I'm in a relationship and you feel that like security like I'm fine you don't need to like me basically like I'm in a relationship type of thing um, and it's just a really wrong way to think like you should be confident in yourself without being in a relationship you shouldn't your confidence shouldn't come from somebody else in basically breaking from a relationship I realized that it feels a lot better having your own self-confidence and you you I see the insecurities that I had through being in a relationship and the way that I felt about myself that I, I wasn't confident in myself which is why I was like cleaving to somebody else for me it's really cleaving to God and letting God be my focus and letting God feel my loneliness that it has really helped me um, I remember times where it felt so painful being alone like you'll, you'll come from meeting friends and then you're in your house and you're just like okay what now um, but having God there you just like I just don't even feel that loneliness anymore when I think back to that period I'm just like wow was it, it wasn't even that bad you know just sleep and wake up and you're fine <laughs> Uh, in that moment of loneliness, I realised that God gives you the peace. God gives you peace to go on and go about your business, not feeling sad, finding joy in situations and finding your own security and happiness. God has really helped me. Um, encouragement, definitely for, for women. Men can really make you feel insecure. Media can really make you feel insecure. Um, but just being true to yourself, um, finding your own confidence is what I've had to do and you wake up and you go about your business and you feel great. Um,